Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the system cannot log you on due to the following error. Not enough storage is available to process this command. Please try again or consult your system administrator. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start this tutorial off by opening up the start menu. Just off click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, to come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now, before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest that you create a backup of it. So, anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it is very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab and then select export. I would suggest file name, just normally name it the date that you're making the backup, makes the most amount of sense to me. Export range, keep that at all and save it to an easily accessible location on your computer. Then select save. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would go ahead and select file and then import and navigate to the file location. So again, pretty straightforward. And once you've done that, we're ready to begin and we're going to go double click on the HK local machine folder. Just go ahead and double click on that. Do the same thing now for the system folder. So again, double click on that. Should be a current control set folder listed under here. Double click on that. And now services, again, do the same thing. And now there should be a landman server folder. So I'm going to expand the column over here a little bit just so we can scroll down to it. So again, landman server. And just go ahead and we're going to go double click on that. And now finally, there should be a parameters folder listed under here. So just go ahead and lock click on that one time. Okay, so now that we are under parameters, on the right side, you want to right click inside of a blank area. Select a new, and then select the word 32-bit value. Now for this value, you want to type it in exactly as it appears on my screen. So IRP, stack, size, all one word. IRP, the S in stack, and the S in size should all be capitalized. Hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done with that, go ahead and double click on this value. Change base to decimal in the value data field. Delete the zero. Type five is zero. Go ahead and select OK. Close out of the registry at this time. Restart your computer, and that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.